the first freight train since the devastating November earthquake has chugged into Christchurch after an historic 348 kilometre journey from Picton. Locals lined the, plat the platform in Kaikoura to welcome the train, the first since the 7.8 magnitude quake devastated the Upper South Island's main traffic corridor 10 months ago. And as Logan Church reports, now the main line is reopening. Locals can see some light. Sorry about this, at the end of the tunnel. The freight train thundered into Christchurch on time this afternoon, where it was welcomed by a crowd of over a hundred workers, dignitaries and politicians. It marks a critical milestone in the repair of the South Island's transport network, with almost all of the freights that used to be carried on trains having to be hauled on trucks instead. The train's driver, Wayne Sullivan, was trapped in another train during the Kaikoura earthquake and had to be airlifted to safety. He says it was a scary experience, but is excited to be back on the line. Quite happy to be on this train because uh, I think Kirill stopped paying me until I finished this job, so it's good to get it done, yeah. Rail is the future, hopefully, here in South Island, and uh, from all the support we've been getting, it's all signs say that it is, so it's good. Earlier this morning, the train stopped in Kaikoura, with over 100 locals turning out for the occasion, some overcome with emotion. The seaside tourist town is still feeling the impact of the earthquake and is regularly cut off during bad weather and flooding. It was a special day for one resident, Bev Bradley. I was here as a five-year-old when the railway was first open, so I had to come for the second time. Bev says this will have a big impact on Kaikoura's recovery. It's good for the keep the trucks off the road and also it is very good to... Um, be able to hop on a train and have a ride. The train completed its journey this afternoon, and the man behind the line's rebuild, Kiwi Build's chief executive Peter Reedy, says today has been a long time coming. The closed line has cost Kiwi Rail $40 million in lost profits, but repairs haven't taken as long as expected. Today's opening is three months ahead of schedule. It increases the pressure on the transport agency to meet their Christmas deadline to reopen the quake damaged State Highway 1. But Mr Reedy says having the open railway will help support workers rebuilding the highway. During the day, we're using the freight trains to help rebuild the road. So um, they're bringing in all the building products and the materials that you need. So we're running two trains a night and during the day, we've just got to leave the track open for uh, the building materials to come through. Peter Reedy says there were many challenges along the way. Some tracks were twisted and broken beyond repair, about 60 bridges had to be repaired or rebuilt from scratch. But he says an operating rail line will bring a raft of benefits for the South Island. Rail helps to reduce you know, uh, cost of moving goods, so I think the final uh, prices of products for, for retailers will come down. You know, it also has a big impact for the, uh, you know, the economy. We're 66% carbon efficient compared to trucks. For the meantime, a freight train service will only run at night so workers can help support the repair of State Highway 1. But Kiwi Rail says it's on track to have passenger trains operating by September next year. In Ōtatahi for Checkpoints, call Logan Church Tenne.